Got ourselves a Focus. I don't know what year. It's older. I do know the year, but I forgot. Um, so I got a plant with some rubbing coming on from this rear right tire. And if you kind of look sideways here, I know that it's leaning quite a bit. I guess on camera, I can't really see. But let's go get this car uh, jacked up and see see what's going on here. So yeah, this tire, this tire's nice in front. Let's see what they broke. All right, we got it up in the air. Jack stands. Ooh, looky there. Oh yeah, so far the hub's bad. Wheel bearing, probably wheel bearing, these. Yeah, we'll get there. Oops, forgot to turn on the air compressor. Wait a little bit longer. This is how you know it's gonna be a fun project when everything is all, see all this nice little rust and corrosion. That's when you know it's gonna be just a great time here in the Midwest working on suspension parts. California people don't understand, I'm telling you. 19 millimeter or three fourths. Okay. Oh yeah, that's that's choppy. So rear right hub. Let's give them a call. See if we can get one. Um, probably not. Probably gonna have to order this one, or maybe Ford's gonna have to order it. I don't know, but this doesn't seem like a, a normal part they usually run, run, a, you know, at the parts store. Or, I guess I could try Rock Auto, but anyways, yeah, let's get a quote. That's where we left off. Got the new parts in. Should be a 30 millimeter. It is 30 millimeter. Take the axle nut off. And this thing's in such bad shape, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully it just falls right off. But if need be, we can put some tools on it. There we go. And then there's your bearing. Finally, got it. All right, we gotta get that out of the way. The reason we gotta get that out of the way is because we gotta get this snap ring off so we can press this bearing out. Here's that snap ring right there. So yeah, you just had to get, you just got to get that last second. Oh, there's nothing left, look at those. Nothing left of that ball joint, or bearing, I should, sorry. Not ball joint. That's it, squeeze that out. Oh. Now I'm just gonna take that 30 millimeter, see if I can just knock it loose like that. All the, all the bearings are falling out. I didn't think that was gonna work, but that's okay. So I'll go ahead and get uh get the tools set up so we can press that out.
This is not how I wanted to do it. I'm just using a 34 millimeter socket. I'm sacrificing one. I have this very expensive hub tamer tool. Even the smallest, smallest one won't fit down in there. So that's, that's great by the way. There, I got it out long enough, far enough, so I got to support it so I can uh, hopefully push it to the bottom. was too. And there's the bearing or what's left of this extremely hot bearing. Here's just here's what it should look like. It's trashed. So we'll get a new one put in there. in now yep it's fully seated down there at the bottom if you can't tell uh, so essentially I was able to uh, take this one uh, this is the if you have this tool it's the T and put it on the back of this and then drive it down in there um, like I said I didn't have one small enough to fit to the front but the socket worked and it was fairly easy just you know it came out it took a little bit, but came out. So now we got to add a brand new snap ring, which uh, you have to you have to purchase separately. Uh, I guess you don't have to use the brand new one. The old one seemed fine, but I purchased the brand new one, so that's what we're gonna go with. Really no easier scientific way to do this. Just take it, pinch it, 
guard your eyes so it don't uh, wear safety glasses. Whatever you got to do so you don't. Oh. Okay. So you don't get hit in the eyes. That would hurt. These things are. These things are on a lot of pressure. Oh, one thing before you know, I go any further is. I purchased a brand new spindle just in case uh, the race doesn't come off and you don't have a torch or anything and that way we can just take that one old and off put the new one on they're they're really cheap so but uh, we can actually send this back get some money back and because uh, yeah we just clean this up and it's it's good to go much smoother now it's gonna come with a new axle nut if you need to know the uh, you need to know the part number it's the two nine five nine nine zero two four you're gonna need a new one and this one you are gonna need a torque wrench for Got to set to 175 just because 174 is really hard to read in this. So now you got to spin this counterclockwise while you're tightening this. There. Took a while. There. Nice and tight on there. Much better. Okay. All you gotta do is just put the cap back on, put the tire on, and that's it. That's how you do it without a press. I uh, hope this video helped. I'll try to shorten it up as best I can because I know I had a hammer on it for a while. But if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me out greatly. Keep this channel growing and keep giving you more videos. See you next time.